We are here today with Dr. Luke White. He's a Beacon Medical Group critical care and pulmonary specialist, and he works in both the Memorial and Elkhart intensive care units. Hi, Dr. White. Hi, thanks for having me today. Not a problem. Thank you for serving on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic. We really appreciate your service to our patients and community. It's an honor to be working with you all. Um, almost everyone now knows really what it means to flatten the curve. We've heard that in the news almost every day. Um, could you explain what we're hoping to accomplish by slowing the rate of infection and the spread of the disease here at Beacon? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the most important part of all of this, uh, like, like you know, is to allow um, those of us in the hospital the time we need to prepare and the capacity to take excellent care of everyone. The slower this disease spreads, the better we're gonna be able to do both. But there's a second part to this too that's, that's really encouraging. Uh, you know though, historically, we haven't had a lot in our toolbox to treat viruses. Some promising therapies really are on the horizon. Like anything new, there's gonna be a lot that doesn't pan out and a few things that do have real promise. The longer we can push this out, better the chance that if you or your loved one falls ill, we're going to have new tested and hopefully effective therapies that can increase the odds of speedy recovery. Do we have any evidence at this point that this is really working? I mean, how long will our community have to endure and keep practicing social distancing? It is so hard for so many people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It, it's it's frustrating, um, but you know this virus is a wildfire. Just like a wildfire, we're fighting a constantly moving and absolutely relentless target on multiple fronts. It's tough to have life grind to a halt. It's scary not to know how long it's going to last. I think it's scary for every single one of us, um, physicians and otherwise. But we're seeing encouraging signs in other places both overseas and here in the United States, uh, signs that these measures that have been put into place are actually starting to achieve their goal. We're also seeing the places that unfortunately were late or slow uh, to uh, put these uh, into uh, action um, or didn't do it at all in some cases uh, are having a lot more trouble controlling the spread. Uh, I'm so proud of our community. Our area is fortunate in so many ways. Our health and community leaders have really done a great job of preparing for this. This is going to hit our community. It's going to cause damage. Some of us are going to lose people we love to this. Uh, but you know, in mid-America, I think we're going to see it hit our region later. What that means is that we may have to isolate ourselves longer than we initially thought or wanted, but it's going to give us time to learn lessons from the places that were hit first and to keep getting better with our care as we put those lessons into practice. Really good perspective. Yeah, from what I understand, the peak could be coming in the, in the next few weeks. Absolutely. Yeah, this, this epidemic has definitely caused a lot of anxiety among young kids, the elderly, and everybody in between. What words of hope would you have, Dr. White, for what's to come? Absolutely. You know. None of us have seen anything like this in our lifetimes. Um, we don't have any, any precedent for it from what we've all experienced, and that's, that's scary. But we've beaten outbreaks before. We've beaten outbreaks like this before in the history of medicine and society. And I have absolutely every confidence that we're going to do it again in the coming weeks and months. You know, every day, every single day, I hear stories about sacrifice, um, whether it's uh, a night out that's had to be postponed indefinitely, a vacation, birthdays, graduations, weddings, even funerals uh, set aside until this passes and we can live our normal lives again. I just want everybody to know that these sacrifices that you're all, every single one of you, are making each and every day. They're not just helping us in the hospital to buy time to give you the best possible care. When you're doing these things, you're directly saving lives in your own right. So we're all sort of apart right now, uh, but the steps we're taking, we're taking together and it's going to work. You know, I'm just so proud of what everyone's doing. I'm grateful to be part of such a tremendous community. We're lucky to have you and you're right. We are all in this together. We're here to support you and thank you for your time and your insight today.
Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for taking the time.